hello friends welcome to java swing uh, tutorial in this video we are going to see how to display a pop-up menu here if you see uh, this is our frame window and at the mouse right click location we are displaying a context menu that contains three many items one is cut and another one is copy and the third one is paste so this example requires a j menu item so in this series you are now aware of uh, how to create a j menu item here you are seeing three menu items then to display a pop-up menu uh, or context menu we need a class j pop-up menu so we create a j pop-up menu then we will add uh, menu items to it and we want to display this uh, j menu item in the mouse right click location that means our frame window need to implement mouse listener as well as mouse event so if you see here the pop-up menu is owned by this frame window and that frame window also listens for the mouse event so that um, we can track where the mouse cursor is and at the mouse cursor location we can display the context menu so awt playlist is optional but if you watch these videos uh, you will get good hands-on and that will make your life easy while learning the swing but uh, watching that playlist is optional the very first video in this video series is uh, required because uh, that's where we tell how to create a jframe window and we will display that jframe window so here in this video we will make use of the already created jframe window with uh, slight uh, modification like we will change the size and position then uh, uh, layout those stuffs here in this example we will use the awt mouse listener so using the mouse listener we will track where the user is clicking the mouse so in that mouse click location we will display the pop-up menu so if you want to know how mouse works you can watch uh, the video number 19 in the awt playlist all right now we will move to this present example so java x dot swing package exposes a class called j pop-up menu and this class will take care of uh, uh, displaying the pop-up menu so we will create multiple j menu item by supplying a string we do created many uh, j menu item many times in this video series so you will create a j menu item then you will make a call to add method of the j pop-up menu so just like how we add the menu item to normal uh, j menu we will add this j menu item to j pop-up menu here if you see the menu bar j menu those stuffs are not coming into picture so you are directly creating a pop-up menu then you are adding the j menu item to this uh, j pop-up menu so it can be one to n number so next let's say the top level container in our case it's a frame window so just just for an example here we will implement the mouse listener so once you implement the mouse listener in the mouse pressed so in the mouse pressed let's state that this j pop-up menu one let's consider this like that here we will use this constructed instance and then we will make call to show method 
for this show method we need x coordinate y coordinate then we will also supply a parent so here in our case the parent will be the top level window which means a frame parent parent to this uh, pop up menu then at what location you want to display so that's all required so it will display the pop up menu so in our example if you see we want to create three menu item so those are all copy and paste so we create three menu item then we will add it to the j pop up menu so here is the sequence first we will create a pop up menu using the empty constructor after that we will create menu items and we will make a call to add method to add those three menu items to j pop up menu that means we will make a call to add method three times for adding each of these then in the frame itself so because this is the frame a top level container that is going to display the pop up menu so in the top level container we implement the mouse listener and then we will provide a handler mouse pressed and inside the mouse pressed we will make a call to show method of the j pop up menu so to this show method we will pass parent parent will be the frame window then we will uh, uh, specify the location in that location that means x and y location from there uh, this uh, uh, pop up menu will get uh, displayed if uh, this is the frame window uh, this is the x and y location from this corner x and y location and that location we will display this uh, pop up menu now it is uh, demo time let's go and do this example so here our uh, eclipse id here we are using the oxygen id the eclipse id is ready in the main entry we create a frame window and we name that as a swing context menu here if you see we are having the set bounds we resize this uh, for each and every example and then here we are setting the border layout for our frame so creating frame window is a part of the prerequisite so i'm not going to uh, reiterate that explanation once again so our first goal is so our first goal is implementing the mouse listener for our swing pop up menu example so let me first save this and first we need to import mouse listener from the package so here i am importing mouse listener from java.awt.event package then once i save the error shifted to the class here i am choosing add unimplemented methods in the eclipse id so now here um we want to show the pop up menu when user right clicks or uh, presses down the right mouse button so we no need to even wait for the click when user presses the right mouse button the time itself we will display that means we will implement this handler remaining handler we can have it as a dummy so just now we provided the skeleton for mouse listener next we will declare a j pop up menu
then inside the constructor so if you see here in the constructor we already take care of uh, uh, displaying this uh, frame window now pop-up menu is uh, declared as a member variable here now we will create the pop-up menu so first we created the pop-up menu after that if you see we create three j menu item from java x dot swing package so the menu items are cut copy and paste after that the pop-up menu instance we are making call to add method and we are adding all these three menu items to it we already implemented uh, i mean uh, uh, our uh, frame class implements most listener and uh, all these skeleton codes are ready so first we will uh, register the uh, frame window with the mouse listener then we will go here and implement this uh, mouse pressed event so add mouse listener we are calling it on the jframe context because our class inherits jframe so we can call it the jframes member add mouse listener then we are passing this that means this instance implements mouse listener so we are registering the uh, current instance with the mouse listener that means whenever a mouse event is produced those events are sent to the jframe derived class itself so now when user press down a yeah, mouse button it can be a left right or middle mouse button the mouse pressed will get called that means inside this handler we need to know which mouse button is pressed because our goal is to display the j pop up menu when right mouse button is clicked so now we will show the pop up menu at right click location So the handler receives a mouse event and we make use of that instance and then we are making call to get button. So this get button will return an integer value that we can compare against the mouse event to know which mouse button is clicked. So here if you see button 3 indicates button as 3 that means the third button. Third button is nothing but from left to right if we count button 1 is left button 2 is middle and button 3 is the right one so here we are checking uh, e dot get button equal to button 3 so that means if you press the left click we won't show this so only when the uh, pressed button is 3 that means only when you right click we will make a call to pop up menu dot show that means this will show the pop-up menu which we already prepared here this contains three menu item so this which is nothing but our current uh, class that means the j frame that acts as a parent or parent container for the pop-up menu then we specify the x and y location so we take the mouse click location itself to display the pop-up menu So that's all. Now we can run this once. So the frame window is displayed. Now I will do the left click and you can see nothing happens. So middle click, nothing happens. But the moment I right click, you can see the pop-up menu get displayed. So now I'm clicking the pop-up menu, nothing happens right clicking at different location pop-up menu will get displayed so if you want to provide handler for the pop-up menu then you can make use of menu item copy dot add action listener then you can do your handling inside it so it's just like how we handle the uh, menu item click the same way you can do this so the menu item clicks are already explained in this series when we started the uh, 
జెమినో ఐటమ్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్స్ ఇన్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ వీడియో బిఫోర్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ జెమినో ఐటమ్ డ్యూరింగ్ దట్ టైమ్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆఫ్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ ది మెనో ఐటమ్ క్లిక్ ఈవెంట్ ది సేమ్ వే యూ క్యాన్ హ్యాండిల్ ఇట్ హియర్ ద సాల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో దట్ సాల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ బాయ్